Hey guys, it's Kelly. So I'm moving at the end of the month to start graduate school and I have to try to condense some of my plants. I have a lot, as you can see, behind me, hopefully. And yeah, so I got to try to make it easier on me, easier on the plants, and I'm going to see what I can pot up together. Um, also see what needs to be repotted. There's a couple of plants that I recently bought that are already having the roots come out the bottom and we need to we need to fix that so I will switch the camera angle and see you in a bit peace hi guys it's Kelly so we're trying a new angle we're figuring things out um, let me know if you like this angle or other angles better go back watch some of my other videos and let me know which angles you prefer if you like viewing the plants from straight up or from the side or more of like a an angled view let me know all right so I have three pepperonia plants in three pots and they're all a little different and they're all very cute and they can all be in one pot and then this is me trying to condense some of the plants into a little bit larger pots so that when I have to move I'm not worried about a whole bunch of different small pots I can worry just about one larger pot so um, I recently found out that these guys can um, well start to trail they can grow up to about like three feet long trailing and wouldn't that be so cool to have like all the different types of varieties like trailing over this huge long three feet trailing plant and then hanging it from like the ceiling that'd be really cool so that's uh that's my plan my new plan i guess for this plant um at first i thought i wanted to grow them up straight up like a tree but i think i like the idea of them trailing better so that's what we're gonna do today so I'm just reusing a pot, it's a hanging pot, um, yeah I'm just going to throw some dirt in it, open these guys up, I'll show you what their roots look like, um, and we'll put them all together, this is how we're going to condense some of my plants. So. The soil I use is just Miracle Grow and Perlite mixed. I don't do anything fancier than that because I don't have money to do anything fancier than that. I am a graduate student and yeah, I'm broke most of the time. So this is life. So we will start with the largest plant, I think. So this guy is still in the nursery pot that I bought him in. And look at those roots. Looking good, right? Looking good. Nice and white. I recently watered these guys a couple days ago, so the soil is still a little damp, which is good. These guys don't really like to dry out. If they do start drying out too much, they'll flop over. So they're very good at letting you know when they need water. So we're gonna put you... Now my other thing is, I don't know if I wanna just break them up and kinda do one of each kind or just, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep them together because I don't wanna mess up the roots. So we're gonna put that one in there. Next we'll do the next largest one. Now this one's in a ceramic pot and um, in order to like help it get out of the pot you can just take like a little shovel and just go around the sides it kind of like loosens it up a little bit and makes it a little easier to pull out of the pot because sometimes you know the roots will bulge out and make it a little harder to come out so let's see what these guys look like they will come out. Okay, this one. These roots, I guess, are not as root bound. 
don't really see them. They are there down here. This is why this part hasn't fallen apart yet. <coughs> oh, I just, <coughs> just inhaled some dirt. Cool. So the roots are really down here. They're not so much up here. They're not as prominent as this larger one, but they are there. So I'm definitely not going to rip these guys apart because I do not want to hurt this plant. So. Two down, and the last one. Making a mess. Again, this one I'm just going to squeeze around. And also, uh, the good thing about coming out of nursery pots is that you can kind of like squeeze the bottom and push it up a little bit and help dislodge it from the sides. And this one also. Okay, this one has more roots on this side anyway than the other one did. You can see them more on the sides. More of the soil is being held together, which is a good indication of where the roots are. So I'll try to clean it for you guys to see. But, all right, let's throw you in there. Make sure nothing, just to try to organize you guys in a some type of orderly fashion here. So try to make the leaves like point the same way. So this way, when you point them to the the light source, they're getting enough because they're they're going to go in a little bit of shock after moving them. Although I haven't really moved their removed any of their, their roots or anything like that, it's still going to go in shock. It's still going to, the roots are going to go out and there's going to be different microbes from each plant. And hopefully they all like each other's microbes. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm just going to backfill this, fill it up and then call it a day with this. So I don't know. As you fill it, you want to shake it to help get the dirt down in between the different plants. Also helps make sure that the plants are secure in their new pot. Especially if you have animals, because animals will definitely mess with your plants. Because uh, that's what they do. In my experience, okay, so this is the new plant that I have. They're all together. This is what they look like. It looks cute. I'm very excited to see these guys grow out and trail down and be this huge, like, thick trailing plant so I do have to dust these leaves too but another day another problem so it's very exciting I'll probably the soil their soil seemed a little wet so I'll probably wait a day or two before adding some water onto this just so that they can dry out I don't want to start root rot you know with all the different changes I feel like waiting won't hurt it where watering might hurt it so look at that it's pretty there's a pretty plant isn't it yes it is yes it is all right guys so this is my obtusifolia peperomia obtusifolia combination planter now so I'm going to keep looking around, see what else I can combine to try to save some room, and I'll get back to you. Peace.